Hi, so for today, we're going to continue our discussion all about moment of a force about a point. So here is our number three example. So if you haven't watched the first video all about this, so make sure to watch it. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to solve this problem for number three. We have to determine the magnitude and sense of the moment of the 800 Newton force about point A. So this, we will be having a moment at this point, point A. So as you can see, the force actually, okay, can be reduced into its components. Okay, let's call let's let's call this as our F Y, and this would be our F X. So resolution of our force, so that we will be able to get the moment. Okay. Summation of moment at point A because definitely this force okay will be uh will be having an an effect okay because of its component because this force is not totally lying on the y nor on the x so we have to resolve that so we have already resolved that f of x and f y okay so if we get the summation of moments using Counterclockwise as positive for the sense of our moment. Okay, so we have the moment at A. So what will happen is that if we analyze, okay, f of x or let's say f of y first, okay, and we are going to have a moment at point A. So f of y is in this direction and its perpendicular distance to the point A is 0.5. So, and if we hold point A, take a moment at point A, and let this force act on this point A. So the direction will be what? Counterclockwise. So that will be a positive Fy, okay, multiplied by this 0 0.5. That's the perpendicular distance. Okay. So plus, this is a summation of moment. So we will only have a negative if the moment becomes clockwise. So how about? If we considered f of x, okay, the the force in f of x. So we take a moment at this point A and let allow this f of x, okay, to act, okay, as our force. So the moment will be in this direction, okay. It will be in this direction, okay. So it is clockwise. So definitely that must be negative f x. Multiplied by its perpendicular distance, since this is in x coordinate, the perpendicular distance is from point A is 0.6. Okay, 0.6 meters. So we have now to determine the value of f of x and f of y. Uh, we have we are given an angle here. The angle is 38 degrees, and as we know that if we resolve the vectors for f of x, that must be 800. Newtons, okay, 800, I mean, cosine, okay, 800 cosine of 38 degrees, that's our f of x, our f of y would be 800 sine 38 degrees, both are positive, okay, so, what will happen, we have 800 sine of 38 degrees multiplied by 0.5 meters, Minus, because this has a minus, negative fx, because it has a clockwise moment. Okay, so we have 800 cosine of 38 multiplied by 0 0.6 meters. Okay, so the answer would be, if we compute that directly to our calculator, let me just rewrite. Okay, this is our moment of A, so that we have 800 sine of 38 degrees okay multiplied by 0 0.5 minus we have 800 cosine 38 multiplied by 0 0.6 so our moment at a would be what negative 139.981 newton meter this negative indicates okay that the moment at A, okay, is what? Is clockwise, okay? So that the magnitude would be 
139.981 newton meter and the sense would be in this direction. So that would be our answer. It is clockwise. Okay, take note again. Since we have said that the counterclockwise is positive as our reference, so it results into a negative of which it means that it is in the reverse direction. So that we have a clockwise answer here. So let's get have problem number four. So find the magnitude and sense of the moment okay, of the 60 pound force about points A and B. So basically, we're going to have a moment on points A and B. So first, we have to get the moment at point A. So we are given uh, 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 distances, uh, 24 inch, 12 inch, and 40 inch. So if we are going to have a moment at A, okay? So before we do that, first, we have to know the resolution of vectors of this force. Okay, so seems like that this 60 pounds, okay, is not purely on the X nor purely on the Y. Why? Okay, so we have to consider a triangle here. Since we already have uh, distances here, we can draw the triangle, okay? So that this triangle, remember that force, we can move the force anywhere here along the line, okay? As long as we are not changing the magnitude and direction, okay? That's that's the characteristic of a free vector, okay, such as the force. So we have 60 pounds here. So basically, this is 40 inch, okay? This is 12 inch, okay? And then, if we get the, uh, by Pythagorean, the, this uh, side of the hypotenuse, okay, we get, Square root of 12 inch squared plus we have 40 inch squared. So the distance, that distance or the hypotenuse would be uh, 4 square root of 109. Okay? So we have this T. So why do we need to do that? Because we will be resolving this 60 pound. Okay? This 60 pounds, so oh, based on this triangle, okay? So we have 4 square root of 109. So now, taking into account, if we have a moment, okay, counterclockwise as positive, okay, moment at A. I'm sorry, yeah, it should have been written here. So we have positive here. Moment at A. Okay, so what will happen is that we have to resolve this 60 pounds, okay, this 60 pounds into X and Y. Okay, so if we have resolved it, we have a force here in the X direction and we have a force on the Y direction. Obviously, since we are taking a moment at A, we will consider the F of X. Because this f of x is the perpendicular to the distance from this point to that point, from A. So, it is also measured in 24 inch. So that if we take a moment, okay, from point A due to this f of x, okay, so it would go in this direction, okay, in this rotation. So, what will happen is that it is clockwise, okay? It is clockwise. So, what will happen is that we have a negative here. Okay, negative f of x. Then, its perpendicular distance from this f of x is 24. This 24 inch. Okay, let me just rewrite. This is the same 24 inch as our uh, in the figure. So, the multiplied by 24 inch. So, f of x would be, since we have, uh, we... Since we have 60, so 60 cosine, of course, cosine of this. So adjacent, okay, adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have 40 all over 4 
square root of 109 uh, okay, multiplied by 24 inch. So, it has a unit of pounds, this one. Okay, so our answer becomes negative 1379.26 pounds. Since this is negative, okay, it only means that we have a sense that is clockwise as we have observed a while ago. So the sense would be clockwise. Okay. So how about for the summation of moment at B? So if we have moment at B, for moment at B, so setting this counterclockwise sense as positive, so we have M sub B. So same process. So if we are going to have a moment at B, what we will consider is actually what? Okay. We will be considering still this for 60 pounds. Okay. So that we, we said a while ago, okay, that this f of x, okay, will affect this point B. Okay. So how will it affect? Okay. So if we move this force, okay, here, because we can move that, that is the line of action of force. Okay, this would now be the new f of x as usual. Okay, this is our f of x and this is our f of y. So there is no, that, that, that is a property of a vector. We can move it anywhere along the line of action of force. Okay, as long as we don't change the magnitude and its direction. So technically, this f of x okay, affects this point B. Okay, in such a way, still f of x because f of y is, it has uh, with the same direction as with the direct distance to the point B. So this f of x has a perpendicular distance of 24 plus 12, okay, on the point B. Okay, so what will happen? Since if we take a moment at B and let this f of x do its thing, so it would be rotated moment, okay, on clockwise as if we are holding this point b steadily then let this f of x affect our plane so it would move clockwise so i hope you are uh you try to imagine that okay and then its perpendicular distance with f of x perpendicular distance is 36 because 24 plus 12 would become 36 inch so that our answer now would be still still this is f of x so this is still six, negative 60 all over 40, uh, multiply by 40 all over 4, square root of 109, okay, pounds, okay. This is pound, pounds per, uh, pounds in, pound inch, okay. I forgot, so this would be pound inch. So pound multiplied by 36 inch, okay. So our answer would be negative 2068.9 pound inch. So what this negative means, it only means that the sense of our moment at point B, 2068.9 pound inch, the sense of our uh, moment okay, at point B is clockwise. Okay, that is the sense. Okay, that's the meaning of our negative. So, for our last problem, okay, for this video, I think I'm, I'm going to have a part three of this so that we will be having more examples. But for now, we have three uh, problems. So, two forces of magnitude P, we have P force here and this P each act on the beam. Determine the angle theta for which the combined moment of forces about A is zero. So, the problem is actually telling us is that we have to determine this angle for which the combined forces of the moment, okay, of the forces P, this P, about A is zero. So, we have to have a moment at point A of which given that the summation of our moment at A, as the problem said, is equal to, is equal uh, to zero. Equal zero, I mean. Okay. So, how do we do that? Still, it's a summation of forces. Uh, summation of moments, I'm sorry. 
So, taking into account that the positive direction is counterclockwise, so you have to have a moment at A. And this summation of the moment at A, as I have said, is, should be equal to zero. Okay, because the problem says so. Okay, so how do we do that? Moment at A, forces acting at A is P, which is 5.5 meter, okay, perpendicular distance away from A. So that we have, if we hold A and let this P act on the moment, so it will move counterclockwise. So it becomes, it should be a positive P multiplied by 5.5 meters. Okay? And then again, the moment at A, okay, this P is neither on the X nor on the Y. Okay? So what are we going to do is to resolve this into its X and Y. So we have P of X and this one, we have the P of Y. Notice that the P of X I will not affect on the moment because it is actually uh, not okay, perpendicular with the distance with point A. But rather, this piece of Y will affect okay, because it is actually, it has a perpendicular distance okay, on our point A. It, it acts perpendicularly okay, to the distance of our moment. So, what will happen is that since we have P sub y here, okay, we have to express this P sub y. Now, if we take a moment at A and let this P sub y do its thing, okay, so the rotation will be, okay, uh, clockwise. I hope you are trying to imagine that, okay? So as if you are holding point A and you're letting this P sub y, okay, so what will happen is it will rotate in this direction. So, since it is negative or clockwise, then that should be negative. Negative P sub Y, okay, multiplied by what's the distance of this P sub Y to point A? 5.5 plus 2.5 because it, at, it is at the edge, okay, of the, our beam, okay? So we have P sub Y then 8 meters, okay? So, summation of moments should be zero according to our problem. So, we have P, 5.5 meters. And P sub Y can be expressed as, of course, P sine theta. Okay? So, from our formula. Okay? So, we have P sine theta multiplied by 8 meters. So, the P's will cancel. So, that you are left with 5.5 meters, okay, minus sine theta of 8 meters. So, solving for theta, okay, we can solve that. So, we have sine theta multiplied by 8 meters. We transpose it to the left side, and that should be equal to 5.5 meters. So, uh, this 8 is not inside of the sine. So, we have sine theta 5.5 meters all over 8 meters. So, meters will cancel. So, how do we do that? We have theta, arc sine. Make sure you are in degrees. So, we have 5.5 all over 8. And the, the theta, to make this summation of moment 0, equals what? 43.4 degrees. And that's it. All right? That's the very simple problems in moment okay but we need to be uh, careful okay in analyzing the forces acting on this point okay so thank you so much for listening if you learned something about this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel again this is Injuna Abad see you again and god bless thank you